Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this Monday afternoon. Nice summer day, partly sunny, warm, humid. Got temperatures well into the 80s. Of course, we're looking at uh, Narragansett Town Beach. Decent crowd in this uh, late August. We take a peek up in Lincoln with the sunshine and some fair weather clouds. Temperatures here in the mid 80s. It's humid, quite, quite humid. Uh, for now, but boy, a very dry, refreshing air is on the way for tonight and over the next couple of days. Temperatures as of uh, the 3 o'clock hour, almost 3.30, generally low to mid-80s. That includes 85 in Providence right now. So what we're keeping an eye on on the weather menu is clearly a change in the air on the way. Falling dew points, very dry, refreshing air moving in tonight. And, and a bit cooler, too, almost like a subtle hint of autumn. No, we're not talking pumpkin spice and sweaters. But, you know, the air will be noticeably drier. Uh, dry, comfortable through midweek, through at least Wednesday. Uh, and, and probably the first half of Thursday as well. In fact, next chance of any precipitation, we think it's late week, sometime Thursday evening, Thursday night, and on into Friday. In the meantime, it's, it's fairly quiet. Our threat tracker remains low uh, tonight through Tuesday and into Wednesday. Uh, just a quick update. Um, the tropics are getting active, and now this is you know based on climatology, we're getting into the into the um, or getting close to the peak of the hurricane season. And there's a number of systems that the Hurricane Center is watching out in the Atlantic and the Caribbean. I'll show you that in just a second. Satellite photo locally, uh, just a few fair weather clouds. Have some showers developing across uh, just north of Albany, New York, right in here. Uh, and some of this will track, it's dropping off to the uh, south and east, and it may arrive here in the form of an isolated shower from this early this evening, but I really think few and far between, so nothing really significant. This is ahead of a cold front, this blue line, as it comes through, it's the leading edge of uh, dry and refreshing and actually cooler air. And as the front uh, passes through, like around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, it just may produce a brief isolated shower. All right, let me show you the tropics. Uh, we'll circle all the systems that the Hurricane Center is watching for either current storms or possible development, and there you go. Uh, but the two we're really going to hone in on would be uh, right here, which is this is uh, Tropical Storm Franklin. And this system in the Gulf has some strong potential for being a, a possible tropical storm. So we'll highlight these two. Uh, Franklin with uh, winds that are at um, 50 miles per hour, anticipated to become a hurricane. It's going to track in this um, general direction towards uh, Puerto Rico and then out, in, out in here in the Atlantic uh, by the middle of the week as a potential hurricane. So generally tracking like this. We'll keep an eye on it. And then in the meantime, this system in the uh, Gulf, potential to be another tropical storm as it heads towards Texas this week. No East Coast threats in the short term, but, I mean, obviously this is the time of year we're going to watch the, the Atlantic and the Caribbean closely. Meanwhile, for this evening, and it could be an isolated passing shower between about 6 and 8 o'clock in the evening. Nothing really widespread. Then it's just partly cloudy. 11 o'clock, we're down to 72. Breezy, dry, very comfortable, refreshing, both Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon with sunshine by 11 a.m., 75. Big, big drop in the humidity, so pretty comfortable. Here we are Tuesday afternoon with mainly sunny skies and looking at high temperatures topping out mid to upper 70s.